So I wanted to make a video where I combine my two current hobbies, which is Pokemon and AI. And by that, I want to make one of those uh, YouTube videos, like the top 10 obscure facts you didn't know about Pokemon. But I want the AI to be what writes the script for it. And we'll see if I can make it give me the stage directions and pretty much do all the work outside of creating like the actual video editing. Uh, I'll see if it can think about what title cards to put in, that sort of thing. I've been playing around with uh, ChatGPT for a little while. It started out with GPT-2. It's kind of fun, um, but very limited uh, as far as, you know, it's, it's impressive what it can do, but I don't think you could tell it make me a video script without training specifically on your own videos. Now this thing's just like, it's going to generate no matter what. Please write a video script titled Top 10 Obscure Pokemon Facts That You Didn't Know. Hey there, Pokemon fans. In the video, we're going to be exploring some of the most obscure little known facts Pokemon. These top things that are dedicated to Pokemon. Okay, now, yeah. all right. So this seems to be just generating my uh, facts for me. Um, I would fact check these, but amazingly, these are just all accurate. Please change fact number four to a different one. Yeah. Please add stage directions for the presenter. Okay, well, yeah, this is sort of what we wanted here. So begin the video by introducing you to be the topic. As you speak, maintain good posture, make eye contact with the camera to engage with the audience. Uh, use gestures and facial expressions to add emphasis and personality to your delivery. Use a conversational tone to make the information more approachable and interesting for the audience. Pause a moment. After each fact, give the audience time to process the information and build suspense before going on to the next fact. End the video by thanking the audience for watching, inviting them to subscribe for more fun Pokemon content. Okay, well, that's actually good um, helps there. Please add notes in the script for what should appear on screen. Oh, okay. No, no, this is actually great. So I don't think it's going to generate a combined script unless I tell it to. Uh, I'm used to doing code with it, like programming, like Python, where you like make this change. And it's like, here's what I'll do for the change. Here's your completed code. I think this one I'm going to have to say, now combine all this into the script. <laughs> <laughs> when discussing Porygon's banning from the anime TV show, a clip from the offending episode could be shown with a warning for the viewers about flashing lights. At what point am I just recreating one of these videos that already exist? Like, the, the, I, I assure you that this exact combination probably already exists out there. Please add how the camera should be set up for the presenter. The camera should be positioned at eye level. It, in fact, is uh, from the presenter about three to four feet away. Uh, yeah, it's four feet away. <laughs> I've already, I've already got this set up. It's like it knows how to do videos. The background should be simple and uncluttered. I failed. I'm just curious if it'll figure it out. I mean, it's just give me general tips, but it's actually pretty much what's set in the camera so for the ISO because I don't want the lights on uh, sun mode today. Please print the completed script combining all elements. I'm totally happy with how this is doing this. This is pretty much creating exactly what we would want for this. Didn't write it right. It's sassing me. Now I wait, and then hopefully by typing continue when it runs out of uh, token, or when it runs out of the ability to continue typing, it will give me the other half we're missing, and I'll combine this into an entire script, and then I'll record it. Okay, it is adding in the other ones it missed. That's fine. I, I can be okay with it, not having all of them in the script, because <laughs> the answer is you can make it do it, but how long do you want to spend doing it when you can just manually finish it out? Yeah, I think it's missing some of the things, but we can, uh, no, it still has it. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, I can't wait to read for, okay. Use gestures and facial expressions to add emphasis and personality to your delivery. Pause for a moment after each fact of the audience. Okay, we need that. End the video by thanking the audience for watching and inviting them to like and subscribe more content. That's literally in the script, but you know, you gotta do what the computer says. Hi there, Pokemon fans. In this video, we're gonna be exploring some of the uh, most obscure and little known facts in the world of Pokemon. These are the top 10 things that even the most dedicated trainer might not know about these beloved creatures. Did you know the Pokemon Ditto is actually based on the concept of cellular mitosis? In real life, the process of cellular mitosis is when a single cell divides into two identical copies of itself, and Ditto's ability to transform into any other Pokemon is a nod to this scientific concept. The Pokemon Metapod, known for its hard outer shell, is based on the real-life animal called uh, the pupa. Like Metapod, pupae are enclosed in a protective casing while they undergo metamorphosis and transform into their adult form. The Pokemon Hitman Lee and Hitman Chan are based on legendary Chinese martial artists Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. Their unique fighting styles and abilities are inspired by the moves and techniques used by these iconic figures. 
The Pokemon Machop is based on the real-life animal called the Capuchin Monkey. Like Machop, Capuchin Monkeys are known for their strength and agility, and they are often used by trainers to assist with various tasks such as opening locks and fetching objects. The Machop Evolution line even includes Machoke, which is based on the larger Star Gorilla, and Machamp, which is based on the four-armed Hindu god Hanuman. The first Pokemon games, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue, were that is not correct. It's Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green were released in Japan in 1996. Since then, the franchise has grown to include over 800 different Pokemon species and has become one of the most successful and endearing video game franchises of all time. The legendary Pokemon Mewtwo was actually created by genetic engineering in the Pokemon world. It was designed to be the ultimate weapon, but ultimately turned against its creators and now lives in solitude, seeking to understand its own existence. So it's Shadow the Hedgehog. The Pokemon Snorlax is based on the real-life animal called the Koala Bear. Like Snorlax, Koalas are known for their laziness and love napping, and they even have a similar appearance with their round bodies and big, fluffy ears. In Pokemon games, each Pokemon has a unique personality value that determines the individual characteristics and behavior. This value is determined by a complex algorithm that takes into account a wide variety of factors, including the Pokemon species, level, and move set. The Pokemon Porygon is the only Pokemon that was ever banned from the anime television show. This is because an episode featuring Porygon used flashing lights as part of its special effects and caused some of the viewers to experience seizures. The Pokemon Eevee is known for its ability to evolve into multiple different forms, including Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, and more. But you know that Eevee's name is actually derived from the word evolution? It's fitting, given Eevee's unique ability to evolve into so many different forms. And those are just some of the top 10 obscure Pokemon facts that you might not have known. From their real-life inspirations to their hidden secrets, there's always more to learn about these fascinating creatures. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. But not really. Uh, do I need to look up how to end the video? At the end of the video, you can use your hands to gesture and emphasize your words as you thank the audience for watching and invite them to like and subscribe. You can also use your hands to point at the camera or make other gestures that feel natural and comfortable to you. Just remember to maintain good posture and avoid any distracting or fidgety movements. The goal is to end the video on a positive note and leave a lasting impression on the audience. It's just, it's just good at making advice, too. Well, I think the long point is, is that this works and a decision list oh, look it'll it'll even tell me what i'm asking it to make an edl or edit decision list is a detailed list of instructions that a video editor can use to assemble finished video from raw footage an edl typically includes information about each shot such as time code the source the take and the destination it's difficult to create an edl for a hypothetical video as the specific shots in this will depend on the footage that's available for the desired final project however here is a general edl for a video about obscure pokemon facts and Honestly, looks beautifully right. This is just a general EDL, and the specific shots and edits will depend on the footage that's available and the desired final product. An experienced video editor will be able to take this EDL as a starting point and make any necessary adjustments to create a polished and engaging final video. Okay, when should I upload this video? The best time to upload a video will depend on a variety of factors, including the audience, the conscience of the video, and the goals of the video creator. In general, it's a good idea to upload a video when it's complete and ready to be viewed, as this will help ensure the, pos the audience has a positive viewing experience. You're right. I won't just put the raw footage out. Thank you, AI bot. Here are a few tips for choosing the best time to upload a video to consider the audience. If the video is intended for a specific audience, such as Pokemon fans or gamers, then it's a good idea to upload the video during a time when the audience will likely be online and be engaged. For example, if the video is about Pokemon, then it might be a good idea to upload it on a weekend when many Pokemon fans are likely to be watching videos and playing games. Consider the content. If the video covers a timely, newsworthy topic... Okay, well... Oh, well, I guess this is relevant. Uh, then it's a good idea to upload as soon as possible to capitalize on the interest and excitement around the topic. For example, the video is about new Pokemon games that's just been released, then it's a good idea to upload as soon as possible to take advantage of the buzz around the game. Consider the goals. If the goal of the video is to reach as many people as possible, then it's a good idea to upload during peak hours when most people are likely to be online to watch videos. For example, the video is about new Pokemon game, the goal is to generate views and engagement, then it might be a good idea to upload during peak hours on a weekend when many people are likely to be online and watching. Ultimately, the best time to upload a video depends on specific circumstances as the video creator. It's a good idea to experiment with different times and track the results to see what works best for your audience and content. Well, my audience of you all lovely folk, pretty random since I'm not a consistent upload. So please write the outro for a video using AI to create a script for a Pokemon top 10 list. Thank you for watching our video on using AI to create a script for a Pokemon Top 10 You have a great day and a happy Pokemon hunting. <laughs>
please add asking for likes and subscribes. It's missing an important feature. It knows better, but that was on the previous thread. Since I reset the thread, it doesn't remember everything that we talked about, but it knows how to do like and subscribe. All right, this is a better outro. All right, I'm fine with that. Thank you for watching our video on using AI to create a script for a Pokemon top 10 list. We hope you found it informative and interesting, as you saw using AI in this way can save time and effort, and can even generate unique and creative ideas. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. As AI technology continues to advance, we can expect to see even more and exciting innovative uses for it in the future. Until next time, we hope you have a great day and happy Pokemon hunting.